The Secret Life of Bleach. You know bleach as an all-purpose disinfectant. All the germ-busting power of chlorine in a handy container. Bleach unleashes a form of chlorine that is a major problem for germs like E. coli, salmonella, and flu viruses. Bleach and other chlorine products are widely used to disinfect drinking water, swimming pools, and surfaces in kitchens, hospitals, and schools where disease-causing microbes lurk. But how does chlorine kill germs? A team of University of Michigan researchers headed by Dr. Ursula Jacob stumbled upon one of the mechanisms while exploring the effect of heat stress on a particular protein found in bacteria. Proteins are the building blocks of life, and each one has a very specific function. Proteins are the workhorses of all cells, including bacteria, and they make them swim and they make them infect people. Proteins are complex molecules with a three-dimensional structure that can be compared to houses. Houses are built for a specific purpose, to live in them. But if the house loses its structure and falls apart, it no longer functions. So what we discovered is that chlorine bleach, very much like heat does, it causes proteins to lose their structure and most importantly to lose their function. And if you kill the proteins, you kill the bacteria. But wait, there's more! We use chlorine bleach in our body to kill off bacteria, to limit bacterial infections. So what we have in our cells is we have these little white blood cells that are little bleach factories that are out there to detect bacteria, engulf them, and then release very high concentrations of chlorine bleach to kill them off. So what I think what our research contributed now is that we understand clear what the mechanism is, how chlorine disinfection works, how it kills bacteria, and how we, in our body, use chlorine bleach as a natural disinfectant. Now, thanks to the work of scientists like Dr. Jacob, we know much more about the secret life of bleach.